Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The Gulf Cooperation Council Railway Metro Conference 2015 discusses setting up a joint mechanism among GCC countries. The GCC Secretary General stresses that the commercial exchange among GCC countries shifts from 6 billion US dollars at the beginning of the customs unions to more than 145 billion dollars. And the Public Authority for Consumer Protection apprehends a group of expatriate workforce in the Wilayat of Sib selling expired food stuff. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. 500 personalities from more than 25 countries are discussing in the Gulf Cooperation Council Rail and Metro Conference 2015 benefits from social and economic opportunities of huge investments in railway industries. It was opened under the auspices of His Highness Said Shihab bin Tariq Al Said. More details in the following report by Huda Al Johariya. The conference discusses setting up joint mechanisms among GCC countries to guarantee the success of carrying out the projects from technology and implementation perspective to be reflected in the region's economy. The project came as the region is considered the fast-growing market for railways in the world. A long-term plan was approved by the GCC members away from unstabilized oil prices to end up with construction of 40,000 kilometers of railways of more than 200 billion U.S. dollars in investment. His Excellency Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Azziani, GCC Secretary General, stated that this project concerns every citizen and next generations for long run, indicating that its success will have an impact for everyone. The GCC countries in general and the Sultanate in particular are looking forward to build a strong economic face to establish logistics services and industries in the transport sector to be transferred to other countries in the future. His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed al fitesi Minister of Transport and Communications, said that the Sultanate has passed through a long distance in implementing this project, indicating that the initial designing of the first package from Suhar to al Buraimi has been completed and expects during the next month the detailed designing of the remaining line of the first phase from Buraimi Abri Dukum Salala would be completed. Oman Railway Company has started to set up engineering courses to prepare a generation to run the railway sector in the future. SMEs also are involved in the project as they start to register its companies to be a supporter. His Highness, the chief guest, stressed that the Sultanate's commitment in the railway construction project and oil revenue will not stop vital and strategic projects. He added that, as per the statements of the minister responsible for financial affairs and the discussions of the ministers, the Sultanate is committed to implement this project even if the oil prices continue their decline. His Excellency Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Azayani, GCC Secretary General, stressed that the commercial exchange among Gulf Cooperation Council countries has shifted from six billion US dollars at the beginning of the customs union to reach afterwards to more than 145 billion dollars, indicating the railway also will contribute greatly in this field and other economic and development sectors. The Services and Social Development Committee at Shura Council today discussed the strategy of the Public Authority for Craft Industries to upgrade crafts industry sectors. The meeting also tackled the preparations to host chairperson of the Public Authority for Craft Industries during the sixth session of the current annual sitting, scheduled to be held tomorrow. A visual presentation was introduced to showcase numerous topics, such as the level of craft industries contribution to support national economy and integrated relations with other economic sectors as well as job opportunities provided by the sector for the job seekers in the Sultanate. The Sultanate continues its celebration on the Oman Environment Day, which falls on the 8th of January every year. On this event, the Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs will organize a number of activities in various governorates. The Oman Environment Day aimed to spread awareness on the significance of preserving the environment for a healthy and safe life. 
The ministry in cooperation with the National Center for Field Research exerted many efforts in protecting the Oman environment in addition to studies, strategies and implementation of plans regarding biodiversity. The Sultan also aimed to continue its cooperation with the United Nations regarding projects related to climate change, protection of ozone layer as well as waste dumping sites. On the occasion of Oman Environment Day, a procession was held at the Al Qoram Nature Park in Muscat. It witnessed a huge participation from members of the society, including men, women and children. It came to stress on the efforts exerted in preserving the natural resources as well as protecting the environment in addition to spreading awareness in this field. The Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs also included a section in the park that provided a number of pamphlets and books on environment protection. Still to come in news bulletin. New York Times newspapers names the Sultan as top one in the Arab world in touristic field. Welcome back to the news. His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Nu'mani, Minister of the Royal Office, met with Admiral Luigi Binley, Chief of Staff of Armed Forces of Italy. During the meeting, they discussed the Sultan's relations with Italy in ways of developing them in military and security fields. They also discussed aspects of joint cooperation. Reviewing developments of the Sultan's armed forces was discussed by Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith al Nabhani, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's armed forces, when he met Admiral Luigi Binli, Chief of Staff of Armed Forces of Italy. They also discussed a number of matters of joint concern. The Italian guest visited the College of Command and Staff where he briefed about the general approach in qualification and training of the college, its halls and classes, as well as the modern information technology it was equipped with. Admiral Luigi Binley, Chief of Staff of Armed Forces of Italy, was also briefed about the historical stages of Oman's civilization and its international relations through the history during his visit to the Sultan's Armed Forces Museum. The 13th meeting of the cooperation committee between the Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs in Al Azhar Mosque discussed the causes to be conducted in recitation of the Holy Quran and other causes for imams of mosques and printing of some books of Oman heritage. The meeting highlighted its role in extending aspects of religious and historical cooperation bonds. The meeting was presided over from the ministry side by His Excellency. Ahmed bin Saud Asibani, Secretary General of IFTA Office, and His Excellency Dr. Abbas Shoman, Under Secretary of Al Azhar. The main organizing committee of Muscat Festival 2015 announced in a press conference the events which will be held this year, which focus on children's events and Dinosaurs Village and the first time in, in the festival. The festival will include cultural, sports and fashion show events in addition to Oman tour race, colleges and universities football championships, uh, driving shows, heritage and global villages. Muscat municipality pointed that the festival also focused on cultural events, namely poetic and intellectual rights. 
The New York Times newspaper named the Salted as top one in the Arab world in touristic field according to the, its tourism potentials, historical treasures, security and safety. The American newspaper recommended to visit the Salted. It also ranked the Salted at 20 among 52 countries in the world level. The classification came regarding the Salted's government's efforts represented by the Minister of Tourism by developing tourism facilities in various governorates and wilayas and 14 castles restorations, which is considered as important civilized heritage, in addition to establishing a number of touristic resorts and complexes. As part of celebrating World Diabetes Day, Oman Diabetes Association organized an awareness program with the theme Healthy Living with Diabetes. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al -Rubai. With the mission of preventing and curing diabetes and to improve the lives of all people affected by this condition, the Oman Diabetes Association has organized a special program to raise awareness of this ever-growing disease. Dr. Noor al Busaidi, president of Oman Diabetes Association, has this to say. So today it's a part of the World Diabetes Day celebration. We're catching up today with another awareness campaign at Muscat City Center, where we do basically a screening for diabetes, station with the doctors, with the dietitian, and lots of fun activity for the kids and the families. They did a, a semi-walkathon around the city center. Uh, this is basically part of the activity of uh, Oman Diabetic Association to raise awareness about diabetes and prevention. The program designed to focus the public attention on the issues surrounding diabetes and the many people who are impacted by the disease. Deputy President of Oman Diabetes Association has also these to say. The Oman Diabetic Association always believe that education is the forefront, the most important in educating the public and ed educating the public along with the actual treating the diseases and managing any problem in life. The arranged program here at the city center managed to attract a huge number of people, young and adult, where they have benefited from the health screenings that include blood pressure and blood sugar check, including a proper diet required for them. And for those who are affected by the disease, a free glucometer was given to them. A walkathon was also organized in which many have participated. More awareness to the public for healthy life! Indeed, effort has been exerted by the Diabetic Association to bring more awareness to the public. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, I'm Abdullah bin Ahmed al -Rubai. The Public Authority for Consumer Protection apprehended a group of expatriate workers in the wilayat of Sib while they were preparing meals with expired foodstuff to be distributed to restaurants and coffee shops, assuming that it is good for human consumption. The workers stored the expired foodstuff in their places in the areas of Balkhold and Mabela. The products included cheese, butter, rice, tomato, sauce and others. The number of apprehended expatriate workers was 24 and the Consumer Protection took all legal procedures preparing to take the accused ones to authorities concerned in the Justice Department. The Sultan's crude oil and condensate production in December 2014 amounted to more than 28.89 barrels, an average of 932,096 barrels a day a rise by 1.15% compared to November 2014 when calculating the daily average. The monthly report by the Minister of Oil and Gas said that the total exported crude oil in December 2014 amounted to more than 23.9 barrels, an average of 774,189 barrels per day and a 3.45% decline in comparison with November 2014 when calculating the daily average.
And now for the general forecast, clear to particularly skies will prevail over the governor rates of Musandam and the coastal areas of the Sea of Oman and parts of Hajar Mountains with chances of scattered showers and low clouds and fog at night in the early, and early morning in the governor of Bahrami, Al-Wahira, Wusla and Lofar. Winds will be north light to moderate over the coastal areas overlooking the Arabian Sea, rest of the Sultanate, which will be easterly to north light to moderate. And seas will be slight to moderate along the coast of the Governorate of Musandam with a maximum wave height of one and a half meters and moderate to rough along the rest of the coast with a maximum wave height of two and a half meters. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we enter tonight's bulletin, the main points once again. The Gulf Cooperation Council Rail and Metro Conference 2015 discusses setting up joint mechanisms among GCC countries. The GCC Secretary General stresses that the commercial exchange among GCC countries shifts from 6 billion US dollars, the beginning of the customs union, to more than 145 billion dollars. And the Public Authority for Consumer Protection apprehends a group of expired workforce in the Wilayat of Sib selling expired foodstuff. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's News Bulletin. From all of us here in the newsroom, in the studios, it's good night.